Oh, one of the robots is up here. The fuck is that? That'll just be scary. What a thrill. Snake eater. There should be a mod for every game that the second you start climbing a ladder, that song starts playing. What a thrill. Snake eater. This game is phenomenal. Oh, oh, please. Reload. I'm worried. Oh. He took his item with him. Ah. All right, I may have taken a minor injury, but it looks like it's th it pierced my ear. We're okay. The brain is unharmed. It merely pierced my ear. It's a very large gauge, admittedly, but it didn't take out the important thinky bits. We're okay. Yeah, we got teleported way up here to a volcano. Snake eater. All right, we got that ladder, which goes up there, and this ladder, which goes up here. I guess this ladder first? Uh, I think I want the other ladders. Can't quite see it because we haven't gotten the map piece yet, which is over here. We're trying to figure out how to get to it. We're way up there. Way up north. The Volcano Manor is where we got teleported to, but... Yeah, you robot! Oh, robot. Robot, please. Robot. I don't want to die here. Fucking lord. No, robot. Oh. Jesus, fuck. I'm going to go back down and take the other ladders. Those are the ladders I think I want. Unless these all kind of meet in the middle? Probably just hop down to that platform. There was no prize on the other one. Yeah, I could just hop down there. Looks like I have to. There's no more ladders on this area. Shield up in case of surprise robots. Oh, there is another ladder. Robots! Anyone else up there? Yeah, you always want the high ground when near lava. That goes without saying. We got one knight who's kind of looks like he gave up. See another knight looks like he kind of gave up. You know, I didn't even notice that it was a rope ladder. I imagine they just made one ladder, like, physics objects, and then have different designs for ladder. Oh, you're a corpse. 
You can't give up much more than that. Just gotta be patient. Don't pee on him. Huh, where were other ladders going if not to here? Do I have to go back down for those other goddamn ladders? Oh, someone afflicted by frenzy? I don't like fighting frenzy people, go away! You're the worst. Oh, not too frenzy. Fuck. Fuck! No! No! I refuse! You want some of this? Come and fucking get it. We came, he came. Huh. Other guy's still up there. I'm afraid of them, like, plunging, attacking me here. Yeah, right, we're good, we're good. Two big boys. Yeah, one at a time, that's good. I want none of that business. It's like I don't know where the ledge is, I'm afraid. You bastard. It's so high up, I have to climb all those ladders again. I have to be careful with these frenzy bastards. Frenzy's scary. Unless you're doing it. Unless you're the frenzier. Alright, hopefully the spider doesn't respawn, the spider's annoying to fight. I want those souls back. Oh my god, it's very frightening when you're near ledges and suddenly the game just stops and then fast forwards. Come on, no spider. No spider, no spider, no whammies. No whammies, no spider. Oh, looks like the spider's a one-time spawn. That's nice. Just gotta carefully get back to souls. Runes. Get back to runes. Right, I know there's some puppets over there. We don't need to worry about them. Piece of candy, you say? And a drink? Oh my. Your word hint is... A... A British response to the Teletubbies. Holy shit, that was close. I made the word of the day a reference to a British children's show in the vein of the Teletubbies.
Those arrow shooters can really fuck you up fast. Is it sadness? Your next word hit will help you out greatly. They'll really point you in the right direction. Oh my god, a salesman. Oh, welcome. Dear customer. This is a way Let's better ladder. This way. Right this way. Good work, somebody in box group. Welcome, value cutties. I'm hungry. Stone key. Volcano pot. Yeah, that sounds like something I want. Explosive great bolts? Explosive bolts? Those are both cool. Hey, it's my set of armor, the Confessor set. Alright, bud, I'm gonna pop a few uh, consumable souls here just so I can do some shopping. Let's use five of these. I'll use uh, two of these. Uh, let's use three, four of these. We'll use four of these. I really I should sell I don't need to do it in that menu. All right, I want the cookbook I might as well like I, I want to open every door I run into uh, I have 2,600 Let's do two of these with 3,000 Two of these one of these Oh, 5,000. I'm super good at number. One of those. Purchase stone sword key. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, we're getting an experience boon. This won't surprise you, but the last map area sucks. I figured it would become difficult for the end of the game. That typically is a, a thing that happens. Well, fuck me, my souls are right there. Ooh, if I can get the drop on a few folk. Nope, they just got up. No game, it's not the time for that. Is it just one man coming at me right now? That's perfect if it is. Oh, I see another guy up there trying to figure out how to get to me. Better level design, a new armor core. I hope so. It's being directed by uh, the director of this game. to the ladder, stupid. Oh, you crafty son of a bitch. Come on. Are you giving up? Are you giving up? Yeah, the leaks are, like, weird alien worlds, which are pretty exciting. It also definitely sounds like they're going with the, uh... The classic, let's rip off Dune, and they're after something called Melange. Which, no complaints here. What 
What, are you fucking afraid? Ah, oh, they're keeping the shields up. Yes, you! One down. Come on, let's go! Come on! Fucking fight me! Fight me, coward! We doing this or what? Strategically topple or demolish structures. That'd be fun. I really shouldn't turn my back on an enemy who's actively locked on to me. But it looks like he's going all the way back home. Oh, no, he's decided he's gonna fight. No, or he hasn't. Never mind. Let's just see what's over here. I feel like waiting for this bastard. And if he comes at me while I'm up here, all the better. Demi humans. We're in demi territory. Yep, that's de that's death all right. Has anyone watched Our Flag Means Death yet? I haven't myself, so this isn't like a segue to me talking about it, but I'm pretty excited about it. It's got my boy Taika Waititi. If there's one thing FromSoft really enjoys when they do, uh, Fantastic Worlds, it's not making them particularly barren. Like, I've been pretty impressed by the locales in this game. Now that's what I wanted to see. Obviously there'll be a poison swamp that somehow poisons your robot. Gotta do the standard. We haven't done the fight in here. I imagine it wouldn't be a poison swamp. It would probably be some sort of, like, acid or rust situation. Something that's, like, dangerous to your robot. If they were going to somehow work it in. Oh my goodness, can I sneak up on that son of a bitch? Guess I should try and go around this way to sneak up. Or maybe instead of sneaking...
You're just fighting a regular enemy who's harder than any boss you fought so far? Yeah, it sounds like an endgame area to me. I hate when they have their stupid sixth sense. And just kind of know I'm around. Your friend won't... Be able to save you now, stupid! Only one left. Soon you'll all be dead. How am I supposed to pick that up? Hey, you! Oh, yeah, come here. I need you to swing your weapon around over here. Oh, come on, do something that breaks logs. Oh, I guess I'm not getting that one minor rune. Why did it spawn a skull on top? Wait, did, did it fall? Where'd it go? Where'd that minor rune go? Do they not last forever? Oh. I couldn't reach it anyway, so I guess it's not a big deal. Just a little... little miffed is all. Yellow ember. Oh, hey, bud! Eye of Le 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 Yalur. I need to find NPCs to say a bunch of these words just so I can truly know how they're all supposed to be pronounced. Seems like they were inspired by a lot of like Gaelic words. Whoa! Absolutely not. Oh. Oh my god, birds. Fine, I don't want any flight feathers anyway. Jerks. Horseback battle? Oh, hello. The assault on Volcano Manor, the squalid, the sick, the blasphemous, a wretched, unending war with no glory. Stop having dumb wars. I solved it for you. No snake ahead. Aw, oh, that's nice. I'm glad they acknowledge the anxiety some of us feel about bridges because of Sekiro. Alright, we got a ladder. I don't know why you would bother climbing that when you have a super cool wind tube. And we got a level. No, 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 noise. Boss ahead. Beware of boss, but try fleeing. Interesting. Pronto! Hello there. 
I got teleported here randomly. Well, I guess not randomly. I thought it would teleport me somewhere else. I followed Patch's instructions. I'm not gonna be doing, like, the manor or anything. Oh, I hope this... I hope this says what I think it's gonna say. Nope, praise the campsite. It should be see. Could this be a bird? Applaud this message. They got it right. Give me those butterflies. I'm just trying to get to the map piece. All of this effort's been to get here. I'm doing my best. Where are you, Pronto? No, I want to finish the school. Oh god! That's not that much damage, unfortunately. Oh Jesus, run! Jake Jarrett Hall, no! Oh yeah, that does that does a fair amount of damage, huh? Jake Jarrett Hall's getting his ass kicked. So am I. There goes Jake Jarnall. See, I think this guy came from space. He's like at an impact site for a meteor. It's a falling star. Yeah, it's clearly a thing from space. I haven't even seen the Radon area yet. I mean, I've been to Kaelid a little bit. I mean, this one's in a crater and it's called a Falling Star Beast. I think the other one underground's just an older one. It could have gotten underground by any means. How many teleports are in this fucking world? Oh yeah, I mean, the other one was a young one. This is a full grown. Oh, you think the, the giant nightmare thing? No, that had a human skull. The thing that was hurling rocks at me that I had to sneak by to kill? That had a human face. A human skull. This thing has one eye. Oh yeah, you can watch the VOD. I got real close to get a good look at it. It had two eye holes. This thing has one eye. I mean, we can always just look at the VOD. We have, we have the footage. Well, the horse isn't gonna be in the fight anymore. Thank, thank God I leveled up before I came up here. So I'm gonna put a marker down for this bad boy. This is a fight I'll do another time. He's a scary boy. Alright, let's get, like, right up to the wall, and I'll put a skull a little bit ahead of me. There we go! I am... a battle mage. Dex and Int. Ooh, you got a fun fact? Might as well grab my souls real fast, though. Oh my! 
A weebsert, yes. I see gold tree. This is the uh, transient moonlight blade. It is my favorite sword. Oh, there's one of the Roly friends here. Wait for him to come back around. I see trees brown and trees that are brown. I see some more trees and they are brown. Here he comes. What? No, come on. Fucking missed. Well, let's wait another moment. Wait, is that another tree right there? Didn't I just pick up one? Did I miss the item because fucking messages? I hate... Messages should have the lowest priority of everything. If you're near an item, it should definitely prioritize the item. Transient Moonlight Blade, I think it's called? I'll take a proper look in a sec. I gotta make sure I get this guy. You piece of garbage! The Moon Veil, yes, the Moon Veil. God damn it! Pronto, thank you very much for that follow. Welcome! The Shake the Box family. Very happy to have you here. How you liking Elden Ring so far? Through and through. You should have gotten eaten by the guy, Katase. Using the same sword? It's a good sword. It's a fantastic sword. It was a post office? Well, that's not the kind of place you want to be, uh, attacking. Those people didn't do anything to you. Not a normal post office. You don't want to attack any of them, that's, that's also true. Alright, bow guy, you're a little bit more scary. I know, the game is amazing. Risked my life for a goddamn butterfly again? At least it wasn't a mushroom this time. I don't process serious discussions well when I'm sneaking around in the game, I think. My brain's... not in the conversation well. Yeah, don't- don't hurt anybody. Federal building in my hometown literally had a post office in the front. The only thing people remember it for. Weird! Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I mean, I think the map piece is literally right below me right now. Yes, it's right there. We did it! I can get the map! Fuck, there's hands over there! We're gonna have the map piece. 
As long as we don't die while looking around, which is very possible. I mean, I'm curious about going in there. There's probably a point of grace, but also... I can't stress this enough. Map. Map fragment. I'm gonna throw hands with these hands. That's what's gonna happen. If we're careful, we could just... avoid the hands altogether. No! Haha! -ha! Fucking ride! Ride! Go, horse! Yeah, stand and fire, you stupid fucking hands. Idiot! It really wants to do its one ring finger trick again. I'm putting me and the fire on one team here. You have to get me through the fire. insisted on killing you with this one fireplace. <laughs> Fuck you! Stupid hands! Whatever, mission accomplished. I could finally... Open my map and see the new place we're in. So excited. Oh yeah, gorgeous. What's going on with that rock? We're almost there, kids. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Kids are real into it. Ooh, something's fun over there. Cool. We got one, two, three, four dungeons we found that we have not done because uh, scary things inside. Interesting. There's something over here we didn't get to, either. And some ruins, of course. Oh, right! When we got down here, I went this way as opposed to this way. We had all this stuff. <coughs> I mean, there's plenty of things here to see. <coughs> A whole map's worth, in fact. <coughs> Is this a dead minor earth tree? Alright, now that I can see this, I can properly place this thing. Oh, I haven't even done, like, the the castle leading up to Radon. But that is my, like, next major quest line after I finish the school. Because me and, uh... Me and Blythe are tasked with finding a place, and we have to fight him to do it. Me and Blythe have to go to Nakron. Are you okay there, bud? Lord Rykard! If this putrid field of death is what your blasphemy would bring, then I can no longer abide. No one can. Are 
It shouldn't? Shouldn't what? I might try and uh, ride my horse into that castle real fast. Just for poops and haws. We're gonna go into Volcano House real fast. I'm just curious about it. That eagle gets to live. Like, there's probably a point of grace on the other side of the entryway, so I want to just ride my horse in. And then I have a giant that I could cheese for free experience points. Oh, he looks cool. Ha <laughs> <coughs> ha! He was on your team, dum dum. It's a frenzy giant. It's kind of exciting. Doesn't open from this side. There's the point of grace I expected. Ooh. Oh, NPCs! That's even more exciting. Hello. Are you precocious? We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. I have an invitation! Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. So, tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us, rise with us, against the Erd Tree? Oh my. Well, that is unfortunate. Now, time for you to leave, I should think. Let this intersection of our paths be the last. What's this? Have you reconsidered of rising with... Now, let this inter... Okay, good. Yeah, the invitation, I believe, is to join their cause. Oh, I can get another charge! Invitation of Volcano Manor. Thing is, I'm already on a team. Oh, I have the invitation. But I'm already in a cult. Oh, I don't want to join and maybe mess up the, uh, the thing I'm already in. I don't know how the game works as far as, like, joining one thing when you're already in another. But I work for somebody else. Oh, it's the worthy gig. I want it. Oh, I want it. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I want the whirly gig. I want that. I don't think this character will be able to use it because it's clearly a strength thing, but my my faith character is going to be all about that. I'm on giant wizard hat ladies team. Like I said, me and Blythe are trying to figure out how to get to Nokron. Alright, instead of staring with my mouth watering at this beautiful weapon, I should actually murder the person holding it. 
You knew that the uh, the weapon was here. Do, 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 do. Giza's wheel or Giza's wheel. Oh, it's beautiful. It was in a place with a great name. It is a good name. All right, let's see what the stats are for this bad boy. It is a strength 28. It's not that far away. Great iron wheel lined with flesh flaying blades. Device of torture used by Inquisitor Giza. As the wheel spins, it causes severe pain and blood loss. The design was adopted for use as the iconic weapon wielded by the Iron Virgins. Strike the wheel against the ground to get it spinning at top speed. Hold to keep the wheel spinning. Oh, it's beautiful. It's my favorite weapon from Bloodborne! Oh, it's glorious. Only need to put, uh, you know, <coughs> eight. Sorry, uh, way more than eight, Jesus. You know, just uh, 14, 14 more points into, into strength, and we can start using it. My strength faith character is gonna be all about that weapon. Okay. Obviously, the, the Volcano Manor is a cool place we want to do more of, but... The Spinny Stick, yeah, the Spinny, like, Whirly Gig was my favorite Bloodborne weapon. I'm very excited to see this here. Oh, rest the wrong place. We're finishing up over here. I was at... Schoolhouse Classroom, Debate Parlor... Debate Parlor is the one I was in last, right? Yeah. Well, thanks for popping in, Prano. I'll see you next time. I'll be back on Wednesday, if you're around on Wednesday. Have fun! Yeah, alright, here's where we fought Doug. What a, like, sudden change of pace to be back here. It's a real different, uh, vibe. No horse allowed here. I wonder if you could join two different groups. Like, if I join Volcano Manor. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> you fucks. Very, very good. Very good. Giant ball traps. Always appreciated. How many souls did I have? Probably not that many. I remember leveling up recently. Uh, well, that's gonna be a problem. Joining Volcano Matter causes no difficulty. Okay. So there's no, like, penalty for being part of two, uh, two groups? I might, uh, I might say yes next time we're there, then. Oh god. Oh god. Hoot!
I'm not quite done with down here yet. But I can't horse, I doubt I could jump back to that. That's nice, I like that there's no uh, conflicting you joined two groups problems. I feel like I should definitely have died there, but let's not question it. That screen wobble actually started making me feel a little queasy. Doesn't open from this side. A teleport? I'm powerless in the face of teleporters. Where are we going? They sent me to Turtle Pope? Why? That's a neat way to meet Turtle Pope for the first time, I guess. Hey, any new dialogue from Turtle Pope? Greetings. Do you need anything? Show Celestial Dew. Do you possess any Celestial Dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Oh, it rhymes. the miracle of this Church of Vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with Celestial Dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Renala. The Order of the Erdry and the Fate of the Moon were conjoined and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond, however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. About the miracle. To experience the miracle, kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strained or even severed, will be put to rights. Interesting. My faith does not waver. The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time, its bounty will not be squandered. If you would be Elden Lord, tarnished, I hope that you too will share my faith. Celestial, do this my ex called us, you know. Glenstone Comet Shard, Star Shower. I could give this to Turtle Pope, but we do have, I think, new dialogue with our uh, our current trainer. Guess I'll stay loyal to my current current trainer. I remember who it was. Someone, someone mentioned like they were a little disappointed the game had fast travel at the gate. But like, good lord, the scale of this game. I would have been not happy if it didn't have fast travel at the gate. Oof, it's a big, it's a big world. Sad floppy dick. <sighs> hey, bud. There you are. My apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Give the conspectus a scroll. Oh, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. I would not be barefoot in a room with all these crystals on the ground. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it. I don't know how to help the lady nailed to a wall in a basement. That inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. My apprentice. Star shower. Glintstone gummit. 
Wow, expensive fucking sorceries. One of the glintstone sorceries of the Academy of the Ray of Lucaria fires a magical comet with a trailing tail. Sorcery can be cast repeatedly and while in motion, charging enhances potency. A sorcery of the Carolos Conspectus, the most venerable of the Academy. I need 10,000 more? Good lord. I wish I knew how much this would give me. Is it going to be 10,000? Only 5,000. Do you water your basement, lady? You wish to can very well. There we go. Just want to own everything. And now I'll show you this. Sorcery, my apprentice. Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure was a founding Glimstone sorcerer, and my first teacher. He turned into a rocks. Stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. Tell me your story. If you recall. <laughs> I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Blimstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want Glimstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos. No matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume nothing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. You coming on to me? Hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Oh yeah. Let's journey together. Splendid. I thank you. This pleases me. It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. I have a favor to ask. I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding Glimstone sorcerer. And like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? With this Glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. <laughs> Hey, Celian Sealbreaker. I need him to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars. Such is his body now. Lead on Lusat. After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home. A place called Celia in the eastern Caled Wilds. Thinking about it. I obtained the Glimstone key I gave you from a Selian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. He's the most hidden man in the entire world? <laughs> so he's out east somewhere. Ah, oh, rump. I've done a lot of stuff in Celia. Clearly there's still stuff I have to do in Celia, but... That's probably where I'm going after I'm done with, uh... Our current location. It's really fun, like, watching the map slowly get covered with all these yellow dots. Might go see Ronnie and see if there's anything going on here. It's going to be very curious. I'm excited to see how different endings come together as the game progresses. Because there's people in favor of, like, helping the tree get healthy. We got people here that are very much opposed to a healthy tree and want to kill it. We got whatever we're doing with my group, where apparently we're going to, uh... Do something with death. <laughs> So 
Vesselia is just the town. The north part, you haven't done as Grail's Dragon Barrow. Yeah, I haven't done Dragon Barrow. Was she napping? Yeah, she's in nap time. Oh, I, I know. We gotta help Blythe kill uh, Radon. I was just curious if she would be awake and talkable. I know she was going into nap time, and it looks like that's happening already. But, uh, in Celia, I took care of, like, the bosses that were in the locked building of Celia. Is the person hiding not in Celia? Are they in the Dragon Barrow? I also got stuff I gotta feed this guy. Took the teleporter. God damn it. Alright, we got big robot here. I got some other stuff I gotta look at. Where is big robot? He's in Salia? Alright, so just really well hidden in that awful place. Because I know, like, there's a lot of invisible people, a lot of buildings. He's, he's near Salia? Alright, well, we'll look for him. I met Gowry. Maybe Gowry knows. Jar people, please. Be cool, jar people! I love setting them flying. Living jar shard. A cracked pot. What do you use the living jar shards for? Found by killing jars. Found near churches and similar. It's fun, it tells you where to go to find stuff. Can I make anything that uses jar shards? I'm running kind of low on these. Let's make some some more. Mits a faint light. Basically, just looking for anything that uses jar shards. Human bone shards. Reveals more messages. I don't think I found anything that uses living jar shards, huh? 